Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace, countermand, or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about doulas. Are you thinking about using a doula? Doula is a Greek term for female helper. However, a few doulas are men. A doula is a professional assistant who helps a woman during labor and delivery and supports her through baby's birth. She may even be able to help you begin breastfeeding your baby. Doulas don't deliver babies, replace a doctor or midwife, or play the role of a nurse. A doula doesn't provide medical advice. She is there only to comfort you, soothe your fears, and help you until baby is born. A doula can provide pain relief through massage, breathing techniques, and water therapy. In some cases, a doula guides a woman's partner or labor coach. In some situations, a doula may serve as a labor coach. A doula most often provides support to a woman who has chosen to have a drug-free labor and delivery. If you've already decided you want anesthesia, a doula may not be a good choice for you. Some studies have shown support from doulas during childbirth may be associated with less use of pain medicine during labor, lower cesarean delivery rates, shorter labors, and a more positive birth experience. The services of a doula may be expensive and can range from $500 to $2,000. This usually covers meetings before birth, attendance at labor and delivery, and one or more postpartum visits. If you want to use a doula, talk to your doctor. He or she may veto the idea, or the doctor may be able to give you the name of someone he or she often works with. Begin your search early, as early as 16 weeks of pregnancy, certainly no later than 26 weeks. If you wait any longer, choices may be limited. Starting early lets you evaluate more critically anyone you interview. Visit doulanetwork.com to find doulas in your area. You may also be interested in a postpartum doula. Postpartum doulas help a couple transition into parenthood. A postpartum doula provides emotional and breastfeeding support and makes sure a new mother is fed, hydrated, and comfortable. She may go with mom and baby to pediatric appointments. A postpartum doula may take care of grocery shopping, preparing meals, and other household tasks. She may even help tend older children. A postpartum doula services are most often used in the first two to four weeks after birth. Support can cover one or two visits to visits for three months or longer. Some doulas work evenings and or overnight. Postpartum doulas can offer support to a woman who experiences postpartum distress syndrome. Some are trained to help women screen themselves for problems and will make referrals to health care providers and support groups. If you think you may want a postpartum doula, make arrangements a few months before your due date. Even though you probably don't know exactly when baby will arrive, contract with a postpartum doula in advance to be sure of her availability. Costs range between $25 and $65 an hour and more, depending on the doula's additional training and experience. If you're thinking about using a regular or postpartum doula, interview more than one. Ask about qualifications and training. Find out if she's certified and by which organization. Is she familiar with the childbirth method you've chosen? Go over any plans she might have to help you through labor. 
If your doula is not available when you go into labor, what will happen? Does the doula work with other doulas? Will you meet them? This is important information to cover when you meet with your doula. Perceptions include how easy the doula is to talk to and communicate with. Did she listen well and answer your questions? Did you feel comfortable with her? If you don't hit it off with one doula, try another. If you'd like to read about baby, check out our book, Your Baby's First Year Week by Week. We cover many of these after-pregnancy subjects that deal with baby in the book. We know you're busy and you may not have much time to devote to reading, but our book covers baby's development and growth in a weekly format so you don't have to digest too much information all at once. Each week is a fairly quick read. If you want to find out more about this podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. If you're looking for something specific, check out the podcast topic lists on the website.